In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a drop down selector inside of a table. So, um, this is the prototype that I uh, hacked together, and I'll show you how I created it. So, we go to our assets after you have the forms and tables basic design system um, downloaded, and then we're just going to drag out a, um, a table cell. And we'll go to the design here, we'll make this medium. And now we're just gonna create the basic building blocks of our table. So I'm gonna duplicate this a number of times, create an auto layout around it. And so there's our first column, second column, third, fourth column. So let's say this is gonna be our uh, select user column or drop down select or whatever, you, uh, whatever purpose you need it for. So we're gonna select um, these here, we're gonna get rid of the text and then we're going to add the input which is right here. Um, and then we're gonna make sure we've selected the input. Um, I should probably update the design system to make this easier to select those and just have it here once the table cell is selected. But for the sake of this, I'll show you quickly. So I'm gonna um, put that icon right. So now it is. it looks more like a selector, get rid of placeholder and we'll have the input. So you can go in here and change this to uh, select user or whatever purpose that you're going to create this for. Um, so now we have this. Let's just go ahead and uh, make sure these headers uh, look a bit more like headers. And of course, you would update the, the text um, to, to, to make it whatever you see fit for your table. So OK, we have that. Let's just create an actual table out of this. So I just did an auto layout. We'll get rid of the gaps in between. And then we'll make sure each column is filling the container. Okay, so now we have our table, beautiful. Um, I noticed there's some separation here and that's because this is not filling. So make sure everything is filling. So I'm gonna do that by just clicking enter a couple times to select every single uh, table cell. And instead of mixed, we'll do fill container. So now that looks good. We'll give it a background color of white so now we have our table uh, to take this one step further let's actually just uh, put a uh, border around it so we'll go to our border and now we have a uh, basic table which you can go and further customize each one of the cells um, to have whatever you need there so okay so we have the drop down and now what we're going to do is uh, create a drop down. I've already created a number in the drop down page. Um, so we have drop downs and you can go by um, just dragging this out and customizing it or you can do the actual uh, selection menu. Um, so we have this. Uh, let's give it a, an effect of uh, a drop shadow of medium. Um, so now what we're going to do is just place this inside the table. So that obviously does not look like what we want it to look like. What we're going to do is actually make sure that this is basically positioned absolute. So what this is going to do by clicking this is it ignores the auto layout. So I click that. Beautiful. Now just with my, um, with my keys on my keyboard to uh, move it around, I'll just move it around. I'll make it a bit wider to be the same size as the input. And so now we have this drop down. So that looks great. I'm just going to duplicate this table and we'll go, we're going to create the interactivity. So the first one, we're not going to have it. And second one we do also, um, if this is in fact selected, we want to make sure that this state is active and we can even go ahead and change this icon to be Chevron up. Um, so that looks pretty good. So now we're going to create the interactivity with the prototype. Um, and so when the user clicks this, they go here. When the user makes a selection or clicks back on the input, they go back here. And so now we will um, prototype or yeah, we'll go to the prototype and, and see how this works. So I click, there's the drop down, beautiful. I could make a selection. Um, um, so that is one way to create a drop down inside of a table. I hope that is helpful.